Welcome back to my channel. This is only in my dreams and I'm your host Anna. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my sister's front. This is part of her front. I'm just getting ready to go and I was like, you know what? I did not share the front of her house the way I promised. And I'm going to take you into the back as well. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to walk slowly through here. And there's some of her planters. And these are just absolutely beautiful. Look at those. I wasn't talking about you, Andy. <laughs> then I'm bringing you back over here towards this corner. I'm going to take it to the front, then I'm going to take it to the back. There's my sister and there's Hi, Andy. Hey. Hi. You guys are not going to believe this. He's a firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> he really and truly is. Oh, that's beautiful. And we got the hydrangea inside. See? Wow. And the lavender over there. Oh, you got lavender, girl? Yep. Spanish lavender. Look at that. And then I love this. Um, detail she has with the LED lantern. lantern right here and then this is what she did up here in the front on the left and this is around her mailbox and there's Andy because <laughs> we're a family you need to find out what Max is calling Max is calling me right now and then she has some of these here on the side then this is the side of her house going into the back. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at this. Everything that she's done. This is purple astelby. It's like my dinosaur fern. There's this fern. And it's a huge one. Wow, those are ferns. Isn't that crazy? And the day lilies. And, and then the look pastas. at her arbor. Her arbor is fully covered. Yes! yes, girl. That's what I wanted you to see. Oh, wow. And she has this beautiful angel on her fence. Let's go through, you guys. We are in her backyard now. We went through the fence. And here we go. I'm going to take you through this slowly. Slowly. And I am getting on stepping stones, so excuse me. Now, her arbor, the last time I shared it, was not fully engulfed in this beautiful, beautiful foliage. Clematis. That's what she just told me. And um, <laughs> it looks amazing. And there's some of her furniture back there. There we go. We're going underneath the arbor, but here's a close-up of these beautiful, beautiful flowers. Come here. Do the hydrating. We're walking through. Show the no, because you covered up some of your stuff, but not all of it. Look how pretty that is. And she actually just got this fire pit that's covered. That's brand new. They can see you. And stop. <laughs> now, this is the rest of her tiny yard. And look at everything she's done. To make it private. It looks pretty on the camera. I know. It looks amazing, right? It's beautiful. Love it back here. Who's walking behind us? Maybe. <laughs> <He's> a firefighter. <laughs> I know. He really is a firefighter, guys. I'm not joking. He saves lives. Why does it smell smoky back here? Because we were, he was grilling yesterday. Remember? Oh. Is it cool? another big ass cool. That's so pretty though. And that stays with the actual facade. Oh, and who is this beautiful blue lady here? Wow. Look at the 
deze guys. This one's turning like a pinky blue. Look how beautiful these are. And these are the pinky blues. Wow. Then that's the end of her backyard. So as you can tell, it's a very small backyard. There are more things on the side of the house, but I'm on my way home. It is eight o'clock at night and I need to get home. So I just wanted to do a quick walk through and I promise I'll do another um, sit down with her so she can give a short talk advice for those of you that want to create a secret garden like this to have a tiny tiny space like she did and what she was able to accomplish and do how she was able to budget herself and which plants made the most impact so thank you for coming by to visit and I will talk to you guys Later. Bye.